Now we're going to go through the startup of the BMW M50 plug and play ECU. Uh, at the moment we have the ECU on the bench with power and ground connected to the BMW connector. Uh, right now we'll plug in the Sabrent USB to serial adapter and we'll see that the new device is started up. Installing the device driver now. This is an FTDI adapter. So it'll search a Windows update to get those drivers. It can take some time. Um, then it'll assign a COM port, and then we can start Vemstune and connect to the ECU. Okay, now we're back. We have the COM port, or the uh, drivers are installed, and it's assigned the COM port. Uh, we don't know what the COM port is yet, though, so let's start up Vemstune. Uh, go to the ECU communication settings, and make sure communication is enabled should be by default. I just disabled that earlier. Uh, make sure the serial connection is used. You can use TCP as well, but by default we use serial. Um, make sure it's on the serial tab here and choose the port. If you're not sure what COM port it is or you have multiples, um, we'll wait for this to time out. So if you have multiples, you can click right here to open the device manager. Um, make sure the baud rate is 19,200. Um, click on the device manager, go to the ports, and here it shows up as COM6. So I have COM6 selected here. What I'll do now is I'll press the power button on the power supply for the ECU. Now the ECU is powered on. We do the ignition if it's in the car. Click detect. It's detected it. Click on OK. And now it's going to load the uh, base map into the VEMS tune so we can see all the settings. So here we have our, all our settings. And that's it. You're all connected. You can see the values fluctuating here. I don't have sensors plugged in on the bench, so you can see these are wrong. Um, but in the car installation, they'll be valid for your air temps and your coolant temps. So that's all. Um, if you have any problems, let us know. Thanks.